help support our coverage with a free account on Privacy, the service that keeps your bank information private when shopping online. Get $5 right now to try the service at PluckHitsLive.com slash privacy. Hello, Internet. I'm Scott with Plug Hits Live, part of the Tech Podcast Network. We are here at CES 2019 at Eureka Park, and uh, we're at the Raven Connected booth, and we've got some screens in front of us here. We'll find out what those are all about in just a second. But first, go ahead and introduce yourself for me. All right. So I'm Natalie, and I work on the marketing team with Raven, and I'm here to introduce you all to Raven. All right. So what all do we have in front of us here? Because this little guy looks fascinating. Uh, there's quite a lot in this little device, I have to say. So essentially, it combines all of the auxiliary devices that people are using in their cars currently. So dash cameras, vehicle health, um, hot, hotspot for kids, um, alerts to your device if anything happens to your car. It's got um, plenty of sensors packed into it. So if anything, you know, someone breaks in or, um, you know, you, there's harsh braking or rapid acceleration, all of it's recorded and stored right to your phone. So sounds like we've got GPS capabilities in there yes. and uh, break in and ha speeds and stuff like that. We're probably connected to the t uh, telemetry on the car. Yeah, absolutely. So what it does is it plugs into your OBD2 port on your vehicle. It's a plug and play solution. So any consumer can easily just plug it in. It's usually underneath your dashboard and then right into the Raven device and you're good to go. Fantastic. I, I've got a, a device that I plug in there from time to time to check the health of my car. And sounds like this would make that process easier because I don't have to plug it in and unplug it and all that. That's correct. So you leave Raven in plugged in all the time. It's always connected. So no matter what, you're uh, aware if anything happens to your vehicle. So on the screen here, we have an example of that. We have one problem that we can see and it has your fault code. So this is the most common fault code. Uh, and people often bring it into their mechanic. They see the flashing light on their dash that says engine trouble. All it is is a loose gas cap, and all they have to do is tighten it. So that instead of paying the two hundred dollars or whatever your mechanic's going to pay, that solves it right for you. Fantastic! That that's wonderful. Now I know that the codes are different from manufacturer to manufacturer. So my guess is when we first set this up, we tell it what kind of car it is. No, it knows. So it um, yeah, we it's all covered. It kind of it has that all stored into it and it, it explains exactly what the code is for you as well so you don't even have to look it up that's better than mine because i have to tell it what my car is when i plug it in so this that this yeah. makes it even easier absolutely our, our uh, dev team is very very on top of all of the information on this yeah now now uh we've got a camera that i can see here on the back i know there's a camera also on the front uh Obviously, we've got dash cam capabilities here, right? Yes, we do. And so it is a cabin and a rear facing dash cam. And we also have night vision uh, capabilities on the front camera. So if someone breaks into your car, you get a really clear as day picture of them, even if it's in the middle of the night. Um, what sets it apart a little bit as a dash cam is we can live stream at any given moment. So if you're in the car uh, or if you're out of the car and you've got someone driving your car, you can check in on your loved ones and just make sure that they're safe. If you, you know, maybe there's some bad weather. We've that's kind of how we started as uh, Russell's daughter was driving through a snowstorm and he just wanted that peace of mind that she's safe. Now, it, it's interesting that you mentioned that because uh, one of our teams talked to you guys last year and that was my takeaway from the video was yeah. that he obviously had like a personal connection to building the product. I think that's what's so unique about Raven is that everyone really brings their personal connection to it and everyone has their own unique use case for it. I drive home um, from where I live now to my parents and it's five hours and they have no idea if, um, you know, I've hit a moose because I'm from Canada and, you know, I'm, if I'm safe. And I, again, the snowstorm issue is, is a real problem also. I know that sounds funny, but it's very true. <laughs> I just was not prepared for a moose comment there. I mean, again, we're from Canada. It's very common. So that's okay. what you go through. Okay. So it... It has the ability to to record if somebody breaks in. I imagine it's probably always paying attention so that if you're in an accident or something like that, you've got you've got back history. Yeah, that's correct. So it is continuously recording, um, and the sensors inside essentially, if there is that impact of a crash, uh, it saves the 20 seconds prior to that event and 30 seconds after directly to your phone, so you don't have to sort through any of that. So 
you're good to go. You might have a discussion with the other guy and you can show him immediately. So if let's say uh, you and I are sharing a car, it's paired to my phone and you're the one who's driving when something goes wrong. Uh, how does that work? Uh, so essentially it can be shared with as many people as, um, as you wish. And um, that's within your trusted circle. So, you know, they have full access to it, but you can also share trips. So if you're going to meet up with a friend as well, you can give them a temporary link where they can just see snippets of the road facing cameras and uh, the little breadcrumbs along your way as well. So when you're driving to go see your parents, they can actually see your trip as you're going. Yes, and they could, uh, if I give them complete trusted circle access, they can see every everything. Everything, yeah. And they can make sure the vehicle's health is also in proper working order to make sure that I'm I'm safe in the car beyond my own control. Okay, now, you and I were talking a little earlier, and uh, it's not all doom and gloom for this product. There are also some happy features for it, right? That's very correct. It's part of my favorite um, aspect of the, the device, actually. So I'll just pull it up here. Essentially, it records all of your trips, and within each trip, it captures a full time lapse of your trip. So a lot of our customers really like to, um, they've done a lot of funky things with it. We've had snow melting off uh, windshields just for that kind of um, feel good sensation watching. Uh, and we've even had um, this guy put music to it. And so um, he was snow plowing his, car, his uh, driveway out and he just put music to it and that was his whole trip. I mean, people take every, like I said, they have, everyone has their own use case for it. Yeah. That's awesome. So that, that gives you that, uh, that like memory of the, of the drive aspect of the trip as well, which sometimes interesting things happen and you totally forget. Absolutely. And it captures your road trips um, for a lifetime. That's so cool. Now, since we talked last year, I know that uh, some new capabilities have been added to the system. You've branched out into some new fields, right? Yeah, absolutely. So this CES, we're actually introducing our fleet capabilities. Um, so some of the new features on that side of things include facial recognition to make sure who's driving your fleet car is who's supposed to be. And if there's any unidentified passengers, we also know that. Uh, there's geofencing. If you leave the parameter of where your delivery is supposed to be, you know that. There's uh, dispatch messaging. So if you're on the road and you know um, there's a delivery for pickup, you get that notification and it uh, it's uh, right up on Raven's displays, so you don't have to check your phone. Um, you know it saves times and a little bit more efficient. Uh, yeah, and you've got basically an entire dashboard of information and driver reports, um, all consolidated into one little platform. Now you, now, you mentioned the Raven display. Uh, that's one of the things that I love about it is the fact that there's there's two tiles that are like customizable, right? Yes. So they're completely customizable depending on the information that you find most important. Uh, and I'll just pull us into this here a little bit. So we're in our Raven screen editor and you just check the uh, box that you want and there's a whole laundry list of them. So, um, you know, fuel economy, uh, what speed you're going, RPM, etc. So, like for for the car that we rented while we're here, we don't have a compass on it. So maybe you turn one of them into a compass, which is something that's missing from this car. But the fuel efficiency is right there for us. So I don't necessarily need that on this display. You can replace things that may be missing from the car. That's absolutely awesome. correct. In fact, awesome. I just changed it to the uh, the direction that we're going. <laughs> well, that's fantastic. And the fact that you don't have to like reconfigure it makes it like I could literally have brought this with me for, for CES and plugged it into our rental car and just been off and running. Yeah, you can take your Raven into any other vehicle. We have some people who drive multiple vehicles and put them in different ones, or you can connect them all into your individual app if you have more than one. Now, obviously, our viewers are going to want more information about this and probably be looking to buy one. How can they do that? So they can do that uh, by checking out our website. So if you go to www.raven.is, it has uh, links to external e-commerce sites that we are located on as well, buying direct from them or more information on the device itself. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for talking to me today. It was wonderful to chat. For continuing CES 2019 coverage, Stay tuned to pluckitslive.com slash CES.